If you are anything like me, you like to enjoy a pint of ice cream every night for the perfect nightcap dessert. To make sure we don't gain 10 pounds a month doing so, we would typically buy low calorie ice cream pints such as Halo Top, NYX, or Fairlife. However, these pints aren't very cost effective, typically running anywhere from five to eight dollars per pint. At those prices, even just having a pint three times per week is about $20. Now, what if I told you that you could be enjoying the same amount of ice cream that tastes even better for just a dollar? You can't even get a sundae at McDonald's for a dollar anymore. Oh yeah, and it takes less time to make than going to the grocery store. In today's video, I'm going to give you several reasons why you should never buy a pint of ice cream again, and instead buy this beautiful creation right here. This is the Ninja Creamy, and I would like to clarify before we start that no, this video is not sponsored in any way, nor am I affiliated with the company although I wish I was. If you are new to the channel, people call me the Cream King. And as an avid ice cream lover, I just think that this machine is so game-changing that I needed to make a video about it. That being said, let's get into it. Now, there are many ways you can make the cost of your custom pint of ice cream change based on what you put into it, but let's look at a basic vanilla recipe. Since Walmart is basically everywhere, we will use their pricing, which for a pint of Halo Top is $4.98. Let's also add, compared to even the most expensive ice cream brands, you can get triple the amount of ice cream for 50 cents less. I get it, that's not a fair comparison. We need to compare it to a low calorie version which we will do with a creamy recipe right now. Using 450 grams of the Walmart brand 1% milk, 4 grams vanilla extract, 35 grams of pure cane and artificial sweetener, 1 gram of salt, and 1 gram of xanthan gum, we are looking at a total price of $1.05 per pint, which is about $4 less or about 80% savings per pint. Not only does this save you money in your wallet, but it leads us right into the next point of savings, which is in the calorie department. With a blank canvas or pint in this manner, to start our recipes with, we can easily save hundreds of calories. This may not matter much for people who aren't worried about calories, but if you're buying products like Halo Top, I'm assuming that you're either trying to maintain or lose weight. The creamy can certainly help you do that. In 2022, ultra filtered milk is now at our fingertips, meaning we can have double the protein for the same amount of calories as regular milk. More protein makes you more full, which helps you eat less. And we can make a pint of ice cream using that milk for under 200 calories. This is what I would call a weight loss hack. When comparing that to Halo Top's vanilla bean, the creamy version has about 33% less calories per pint. This means if you ate a pint of ice cream every day and were on a weight loss journey, this would cause an additional three quarter pound of weight loss per month. This may not seem like much, but over a year's time, that is 10 pounds of fat. On top of all of that, in my opinion, the consistency and taste is better in the ice cream that we made for a fifth of the price. Then, if you want to lower the calories even more and protein isn't a concern to you, you can replace some of the milk with almond milk. I did exactly that in last week's video and made ice cream as low as 150 calories per pint, which is nearly half the calories of the basic Halo Top vanilla flavor. My flavors weren't just vanilla either. I used real cereal in them to make them more dynamic in both flavor and texture than a regular old vanilla ice cream. I have had plenty of clients and people I have talked to that weren't getting enough protein in their diet. As I said earlier, protein helps you feel satiated quicker while feeling fuller longer. So when there are ways to incorporate more protein into a meal, I do. And the creamy makes it extremely easy to add protein from various sources. Brands like Halo Top or NYX have anywhere from nine to 19 grams of protein per pint. Considering that it is ice cream and is much lower calorie than its full fat counterparts, that's not too shabby. However, as we mentioned earlier, even with just ultra filtered milk like Fairlife, the protein content is significantly higher than even the highest protein filled low calorie brands. This isn't even 
the tip of the iceberg though, as there is pretty much unlimited ways to double or even triple the protein. The simplest ways could be adding a scoop or two of protein powder or adding a chopped up protein bar into the mix. If you really want to level up the taste and protein in these creams, you can also combine recipes such as my cookie dough or my soon to be posted protein brownie. Then you have two oh protein treats God. in one. I am sure there are other combinations that I haven't even thought of, but soon enough, I will be experimenting myself. I think you can easily get 50 grams of protein, if not more, into one creamy pint, which will help you meet your protein goals while keeping you full. Staying full keeps you from overeating and having more energy helps you burn more calories, in turn, helping you lose weight. Gorilla Mind has many different products that will help you achieve both, such as their pre-workouts, protein powders, and fat burners. These products when combined with exercise and low calorie recipes like the ones I have on my channel have helped me lose nearly 20 pounds over the last six months. If you are interested in getting that extra boost, click the link in the description and use code E4CM for 10% off your order. The number one thing I always get mad about when buying any type of ice cream is the limited number of flavors available. If you are like me, there are several flavors you have dreamt about having that ice cream brands just never make. Mint Oreo or Cookie Monster are perfect examples. They are simple and extremely easy to make, but no one ever does it. Or they do do it and make it a limited flavor, and then when it's gone, you never know when or if it's coming back. What makes things even worse is the light ice cream flavor list is even smaller. There's usually six to eight options to choose from at most. The creamy, however, flips this on its head. With the creamy, your options are essentially limitless. Peanut butter, cookie butter, real butter, popcorn, chocolate, fudge. I mean, I can go on and on. And even if your creativity isn't the best, there are plenty of creators like myself making recipe videos showing you how to optimize your creamy for the greatest flavor with the lowest amount of calories. On top of all of that, there are also Facebook groups like the Ninja Creamy Anabolic Lifestyle that post several times daily with all of their creations, as well as ask any questions they may have. I know you didn't expect this one, but if you have ever eaten a couple pints of Nick's in one sitting, you know that this is a real thing. Many of the pints that are low calorie usually have a lot of fiber per serving, and there is usually three servings in each of the pints. Sometimes, as soon as 30 minutes or so after you are done eating, you are running to the porcelain. Even when making my Ninja Blender protein ice creams, a small portion of people had digestive issues with the xanthan or guar gum. This was surprising because I had the least xanthan and guar gum in my recipes than most of, if not all, of the other recipe creators. Both of these problems noted above should be eliminated as the xanthan gum used is just enough to bind everything together and is equal to or less than what is standard in all store-bought ice creams to make for a better mouthfeel and consistency. Most ice cream machines take a little more elbow grease and attention to make a creamy, smooth, and flavorful final product. But the creamy? I could have a pint fully mixed and in the freezer in two to three three minutes. As long as you have a small handheld blender, the process of making your ice cream is simple. The hard part is waiting 24 hours, but thanks to the extra pints they sell on the side, I have been able to keep a constant flow of both sorbets and ice creams in my freezer. When the urge comes to have something sweet, it is just an arm's length away. Then, once the pints are fully frozen, all I have to do is run them underwater for less than a minute, load it up, and press a button. Soon after, I have a low calorie ice ice cream with the perfect consistency. Now there's one major con we have to talk about, and that is the initial cost of $200. While that is a con, it quickly turns into a pro. Please explain, Nick. So first off, if you wait a few weeks for a deal, I have seen the creamy price from $130 to $160, which shaves you 25 to 35% off the original price. The sales price in itself makes this an insta-purchase. Then, when you couple in the fact that you are saving $3.93 per pint, you only have to eat about 38 pints of ice cream until the creamy pays for itself. 
After that point, it is all money in your pocket. If you end up eating a pint of ice cream 255 days per year, you will save over $1,000 each and every year. That may seem like a lot of days to eat ice cream, but with the unlimited number of ways you can eat it and for how cheap it is, it's 100% in the cards. Calories aside, even if you slightly like ice cream, I think the Ninja Creamy is one of the best investments you can make. I do have an affiliate link in the description if you wanted to check it out, but you could always wait for a sale as well. And if you need some recipes when you get your creamy, click here to see three I made that take minimal effort with maximum flavor. Until next time, deuces.